we just stand here and say you're a liar. He said you're a liar. Come here. He said you're not behind us. No. Go to this Muslim woman because they're willing to get it, that they may come to Christ. Tell them that Muhammad commanded their husband to beat them. Surat al-Isa, I have a Take it out of it. And the husband will beat them. Yeah. But she the guy said, husband, husband, love your wife. Who's wife? A dead man or a living God who's in heaven. Husband, love your wife. God bless that woman. Her husband not only love her, her husband will die for her. That's a difference between us and you. Her husband will die for her. But your husband can be for no, it, it, it's true, it's true. I used to help many Muslim women fleeing domestic violence because in the Quran it says you can beat women. So they can use any reason. If you're not listening, um, they can uh, they can hit you and hurt you. Um, so I'm not saying all Muslim men practice this, but in the Quran it says, Muhammad says that no Muslim would be asked as to why he beat his wife. Um, and Aisha, you know, the Prophet Muhammad's wife, she said that she hasn't seen any woman having a many bruises as Muslim women. So Muslim women, they suffer. In the Hadith. Which Hadith? In the Sahih Hadith. I'm filming. I, I can't get it. One number. One number of Hadith. It says that, you know, in the Quran, it says that. You know, which, which chapter? It says that, and this is why. Which I'm talking to them. Relax yourself. This is why women, you know, Muslim women, they have to cover themselves. This is, this is because order, if something. Order. You are Muslim, right? Yeah. And yeah. you are Muslim. Do you have any bruises in your in your body? No. Do you have any bruises in your body? Yeah? No. Do you no, have the any reason bruises? Is, is your dad beating you? Is your bad dad molesting you? Is any of your family members? No, so the doing point is sir, you? can you 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 know, I know in Islam it teaches that to women says when it works hard, but they have a voice to speak. Let them speak. No, no, I'm not, I'm not so relax, relax, relax. He relax. can get you the verses I'm relax, filming. Relax. So let relax. me speak to them. You see, no, no, no. in Islam you're, you're, women you're, it's, it's no, no. our choice. Exactly. It's your choice yeah, to wear you're hijab. To them. You're not even, yes. To wear hijab. Yes. Okay, I wanna teach you the reason why you have to cover yourselves, right? right. Is because in the Quran it says if you don't cover yourself, man can abuse you. You know? Uh, and this is uh, why if see? something happens to you, you in Muslim countries, in Muslim countries you, it's a woman's fault. Can you prove it? Can you because prove it? you can get the verses up because, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. because the, the witness of a woman is worth half of that to a man. So if somebody hurts you, if a man hurts you in the street, then it's your word against his. Then it will be. No, no. Which of you speak English? I'm English. Yeah, yeah. But the, the thing is, madam, you know, in Christianity, we believe men and women are equal, and we believe that they're one in Christ. And Jesus said, Hello. Jesus said that. Let me let me tell you something. Are in the religion. He's just trying to get right? into your mind. Okay? In you are a Muslim. In all the religion, yeah, and but in Islam, in Islam, in Islam, the the witness of a woman. Don't let her tell you anything else. In the in their religion, they don't have foundation. Ask him, ask her, ask her. How did the mother of Jesus dress? Was she, was she dressing like this? The mother of Jesus. Was she dressing no, like this? The, 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 the thing is, it no, doesn't no, no, say. You. The thing no, is, no, in no, it, no, this, no, the thing no, is, no, I am no, covered no, up. No, the thing is, you know, no, you, no, you no, have to cover no, up. No, otherwise, no, if something no, happens to you, no, if something happens to you, it's your fault. It's your fault. This is what is threatening them. The board is not respectful. Do you think it's the board is respectful? I've got to give you one verse from the Quran to back it up. They will, not able, they will not be able to do it. They just come out and... You no, know you know saying? that I'm feeling Tell her the thing is... To give you one verse from You can't let her speak because in they Islam, will never do it. the weakness of a woman is what half of that of Jesus. woman. This is and this is why you're threatening. This Jesus. is why the Muslim Jesus. women don't have a voice. In Islam, ask, ask Muslim him. women don't have a voice. That's why you have to speak on their behalf. Ask her to show you the picture of Jesus. Let them speak. Let's see you. Let them speak for five minutes. I will become a Christian. Tell her to show you be the quiet. You've Jesus. spoken enough. What no, do you no, no, say? No, no you be quiet. Why? Who are you? You can't you? talk to them. I'm not your no, dimmy. No, no. I'm not your dimmy. Step back. You can't talk to them. Yes? You can if you want I to talk to them. I can't speak to them. No, no, you, no. You, you want to speak on the behalf because most women are, don't have a voice. You are being manipulative. You are being manipulative. Most women are worth half of the witness of a man. Most 
give women go to hell because they are killed and have trade. Did you know this? Place. No foundation, no foundation. I hold this respectfully. I think that everybody can choose what we want to do, and it's our choice. It's not uh, like a. Uh, we don't obligate, we are, it's not yeah, she's an obligation. Oh, your that's okay. exactly. Be quiet. She's no, the young she, she told you to be yeah. quiet. She, 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 she told you to be quiet. Out. Stop. No, see? you step back. Very, she even told you to see? shush. She's attacking me you now. You see, speak why are you, why are you giving because her she like wants this? to speak and you're interrupting. This, Keep your distance. Keep your distance, sir. You respect to me. Exactly. So go ahead, please. Sorry. So, if tomorrow I wanted to wear the hijab, yeah, the hijab, yes. I can wear it. Yeah, I wanted to wear it. Yes, and if I don't want, that's okay. Yeah, I think that it's not an obligation. Yeah, I know that in the religion, in the Quran, we have to wear it. But if I don't, I don't want. I don't feel that I want to wear it right now. Probably after, but not right now. Yes. Yeah, so the reason, so and that's fine. In the Quran, it doesn't specify about hair covering, and this is why some Muslims women don't wear it. No. But in the hadith, it says, uh, in the Quran, it says that if you are not, you do, you have to cover. It doesn't specify hair, otherwise men can abuse you, molest you. In the hadith, this is in the Quran. This is in the Quran. No, no I know it is their choice. I know it's their choice. But the thing is, you know, for example, the burqa, whilst people can wear it, it dehumanizes women, you know, and it makes them feel like it's your fault because if a man gets sexually attracted to you, it's because of your face. And it should, I have no issues with you want to be modest. It's a good thing. But to dehumanize people because they're women, that, that, for me this is wrong. Does anyone force you to wear? Oh, don't touch her. Exactly. You yeah. should know your place and step back. No touching in Islam. So we say that there is nothing wrong with wearing a hijab, covering yourself. But the problem is the reason why, if it's to stop men from abusing you, if it's that you need a man to follow you, otherwise if something happens, it's your fault. This is wrong. It shouldn't be that you, because you're a woman. This is like, I'm talking to them. This is about her conviction. This is not about men. This is about our choice. I know it's a choice, but I'm just saying you only see. This is not about men. Men don't, don't have a word to say about is, our conviction. Yeah, I know it's a choice, and I respect that. But I'm just saying, in the, if, for example, if you if you were in a, you know, in, in some Muslim countries now, Saudi Arabia, maybe they even allow women in the bikini. It's not an issue. But in, you know, because they're trying to be Westerners. Be quiet, please. But the thing is, you know, in many Muslim countries like in Afghanistan, you even have to cover yourself. You know, have you seen videos of women in Afghanistan being locked up? They say they can't even leave the house. And this is because of Islam. You know, so what? Now, I think that they are very extremists. Yeah, I agree. But, um, but the burqa comes from Islam. I can tell you the story of the burqa. Mohammed's, Mohammed's friend, you know, he saw one of Mohammed's wife going to the toilet, and then he, he said to Mohammed, uh, he said to Mohammed, I'm, I'm giving you the story, the burqa, it comes from Mohammed's companion, seen Mohammed's wife going to the toilet, and he told her, and this is where the story of the burqa came from. You know, but the thing is, you know, the burqa is bad for your skin. If you don't get any sun skin, if you don't get any light, it will make you, you know, you will have issues with your bones. It's not healthy, and it shouldn't be that you wear it. Uh, I know you're not wearing it, and you're not, but it, you sh it shouldn't even be a thing. It's only in Islam that you see this thing about women covering up. What do you think? Share with me your thoughts. And I just want to invite you to Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus loved no, you, died no, for your thank sins. You. The thing is, the there is no salvation in Islam. There is no salvation. Your deeds will not save you. And even if you make it into All heaven, the, even if, let's say, you make Jesus it into well. heaven, you will be one of many wives of yes, the man. Yes. And you, yes. if you yes. get married, yes. the, your husband will never even look at you. If this is a true story, this is not a true story. This is not a true story. In the Bible, I'm talking to them. In the Bible, we say there is no marriage in heaven. We say that we're one in Christ, and we worship God in spirit and truth. And we say that we can't save ourselves. We can't do good deeds. You know, you, um, you know, you, you have to be born again. Do you know what it means to be born again? So it means that you need to receive the Holy Spirit because we are sinners. Do you acknowledge you're a sinner? Sinner, sinner, like. 
Sinner is when you do bad things, yeah. you know. So you, in a, in Christianity, we say we break the law of God. So that makes you a sinner. Word you of hell. In Islam, you have a reward system. You don't know nothing, man. You don't know what you're coming here just debating for no reason. I'm coming here to I'm not sure what's going on. Do you, do you speak English or no? Uh, so in Islam, you know, you believe that, you know, you have your good things and bad things on a scale. Yeah. So in Christianity, we believe that even if we, that we, we cannot save ourselves, we need a savior. And this is why Jesus Christ died for us. Do you have any thoughts on this? Because you can't save yourself, madam. You know, when you stand in front of Jesus Christ, he's a judge. He will send you to hell. He will, huh? Everybody can believe in a... In a, we want to, but uh, me, I uh, believe in uh, Islam, but I don't. Comment uh, change? But I don't change the the religious. But madam, can I ask you why do you believe in Islam? Are you converted from Islam? Yeah, yeah you're converted. Do you know what Islam teaches about you? It says. Islam teaches that you are. Islam teaches pedophilia. Islam says that you. Islam teaches pedophilia. Islam says that you're a devil. Islam teaches that you're stupid. Islam teaches because you're a woman, you will go to hell. Islam is in, is in your scriptures. Is in your scriptures. Islam teaches. I told you, forget, forget these people, get me the scriptures for them. Get me the Islam. Allah doesn't hate you. Now, I challenge you, I challenge you, Muslim women, name me one Muslim woman in the Quran, apart from Mary, who was a Jew. One single name of a, of a woman in the Quran. You don't see, you will not find it. Because Allah hates, yeah, I said, apart from Mary, because Allah hates women. Allah doesn't hate Yes, the woman. The woman. Later. The, the, no, a woman no. is, is the queen of the house. She is the queen. She is the queen. She wins everything. She shows everything. And your I don't husband, know why. Do, don't you? Your husband can divorce you. Your, no. your husband can keep you. Can have second and third wives. You talk about extremists. What's your problem? Please stay with me. Miss. You are so talking about extremist people. Oh, question. Islam, Allah hates you. This is why. No, you don't. Why? Hey, why? No, 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 no. why are all the women in the Quran no. missing? Some say that why? Jesus also hates women. Excuse me? You say that Jesus also hates no, women. No, Jesus loves yes, women. Jesus loves women. Jesus gave you eternal life. Jesus, he gave equal and rights to women. Allah, don't give us. Uh, why, answer me, why do all the women, there are so many women in the Bible and only one is mentioned in the Quran, Mary, a Jewish woman, because Allah, excuse me, because Allah hates women. There are no mentions of women in the Quran. Can you tell me why Allah forgot to write the name of women in the Quran? You can tell me. Why? Is there only Mary, a Jewish woman? Not even Aisha is in the Quran. No women in the Quran is only about men and men's rights because it's a religion for men. Did you read the Quran? Did you read the Quran? And it's a book of rubbish. You know why I say this? Because it's from Satan, it's not from God. I challenge you to read the Bible. One question. Listen, listen. Yeah, these people, they're trying to distract you. Why don't you want to dress like that? Because I, I am covered up. If you have a problem, you should know where you're gay. The thing is, it is only, it is mainly, in, unfortunately, uh, because I'm covered up. Why should I cover my face? Why should I cover my face? Why should I cover my hair? It's bad to my face. I tell you why. You know, I tell you why I'm not covered up. I am covered enough. Not just her face. 
Um, you know, the hijab is bad for your hair. It makes the wig. Your body needs sunlight. Your body needs sun. It needs light. This is gonna be bad. I agree. I agree. But you need, to, you need to be healthy. You need sunlight. No, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, so I can't really Just, they're trying to distract you. She's talking about the hijab, so, that the hijab is not a good thing. It's bad for uh, your health. Why do you have no. to come no. I don't need to say that. What question? No, you, you, need, you, need, you need vitamin D, it's good for you. I'm not saying to you. I'm not saying to you not to, not to, to go in the beginning. Uh, in a, in Christianity, women should be modest as well. But I was saying to you. One question, Wallahi, I will leave, yeah? Do you believe having multiple wives is wrong, is morally wrong? Yes. Then can you explain how Solomon had 700 wives? Yeah, and what happened with Solomon because he did that? You can answer. What happened with Solomon? Yeah. What happened? So um, he had them, he disobeyed God, and afterwards, I'll explain to you. Do you want to, I'm, I'm answering one question. Solomon. It's not normal. I'm Christian, but not normal. What is not normal, madam? Sorry. Huh? I'm not French. But what, what do you mean is, what is not normal? You have to know. Because all that things, that bad things, that not you. This is true about it. No, no. It is true. It is true. This is why in Middle Eastern countries, the thing is, okay, so you be, you be, I have read the Quran. I have read the Quran. Because we are the, the children, the children of Hala. He creates us for, for adoring us because he loves us. Sorry? No, uh, <laughs> she said that God, who is Hala, loves us. She he does. She doesn't love you. Okay. So no, he doesn't love you. As I explained to you, as I explained to you, you are a possession to a man. He can discard you. He can sell you. Right. I'm gonna take here. Hold this for me. Do you want me to read this? Cause now, cause I was filming you. Right. I will read this. Okay. Surah 434. Can you read, please? Surah. Can you read, please, madam? You have the Quran. Surah 434, that you can beat your wife in here. You can look in your Quran. Surah 434. 434, you can beat your wife. This is why many Muslim women are victims of domestic violence. Surah, Surah 424, you can have sex slaves. You know, in England, there was a scandal of some Pakistani Muslim men. They had white English girls like them as sex slaves, under age, because of Islam. This is Surah 424. No. I'm, you have Quran. Open your Quran. Open your Quran. Four twenty-four and thirty-four. In a Surah two 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 three, you can rape women. You can rape them. You can rape women. Your wife's eyes your tilt. So aren't you? So approach your tilt when you and how you will. But do some good up before you source beforehand and fear Allah. So you can rape women. Marital rape is allowed in Islam. The thing is, madam, you are Muslim convert because it's fashionable. This is what you say in the West. The women in the Middle East, they are suffering because of Islam. We need respect for all religions. No, I don't have to respect for religions. I respect human beings. I don't have to respect human beings. I don't respect a religion that calls me stupid, that calls me deficient in mind, that calls me a worst of creatures. I don't respect that. If you want to respect it, I respect your choice. I, as a Christian, I respect you and you as a human being. If you want to be Muslim, you can. I don't have to respect Islam because Islam hates me as a woman. Islam hates me as a woman. It is true. Why is it the majority of dwellers in hell? Muhammad asked, 
Why are most Muslim women in hell? It says it in the Hadith, somebody asked Muhammad, do you know why? Because you curse frequently, you are ungrateful to your husband, and you have deficiency of your mind. This is why most people in hell are women. This is what Muhammad said. And they can't answer because it's disgraceful and they don't know this. These this girls are converts. They haven't been taught this, of course. How many, how many women are, are killed about uh, in England? Uh, for domestic uh, violence. No, no, this is not about Muslim. This is about no, I'm saying domestic no, violence no, 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 in general. No, this is I about men. I'm not Muslim. Yes, no, but uh, no, the thing I is, but the more. No, she's not Muslim. I understand. I understand. There are many women who are killed because of domestic violence. But Islam teaches domestic violence, and that's the difference. That's the difference. The Bible doesn't teach domestic violence. You're lucky. You're lucky that you live in the West. If you were a Muslim woman in the Middle East, you have to live. How many? This is a, a straw man. Well, well, man. You wanted to ask a question. The thing is, just, just question. How many women have been killed by England? Many women are killed in every country. But the thing is, the thing is, Islam teaches domestic violence. This is the difference. You are here and you are in the West and you enjoy yourselves. If you were in the Middle East, you would have to stay at home unless your husband allows you to go out, unless your brother takes you out. You wouldn't be able to speak. Islam teaches domestic violence. You haven't. Go in the verses that I showed you. I saw. I showed you the verses. Surah 434. Surah 234. Surah 223. You don't want to read this because you know what it says about you. So you need to turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can save you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for your sins. There is no salvation in Islam. We respect Jesus. You don't respect Jesus. You don't respect Jesus because you believe in a false Jesus. Jesus Christ is God. Do you believe Jesus can give you eternal life? You say somebody had a shirt who is uh, brought on it. Um, uh, Jesus is the Son of God, and you say that Jesus is God. You yeah, can, he can be. Why he not? Be, Why not? He can't be God. Does he have the Son of God? Why not? He's a Trinity. Allah, does the Quran say that Allah can be anything, but that Allah cannot be a man? Yes. Allah cannot yes. enter creation. You give, you I can't a... be my mother. I can't be me, and I can't be the daughter of myself. It's impossible. Why not? Why not? God is triune. God is spirit. You know your Quran tells you that about the Holy Spirit. Do you know Allah in your Quran it talks about the spirit. No Muslim can tell you what the spirit is. Yes. Allah, God is God is spirit. And God came as a person. You give a bad vision of Christian. You give a bad vision. Yes. He is Christian. The Bible says he is Christian. If you're Christian, did you tell him about Christian? Did you tell them about Jesus? Are they your friends? Are they your friends? Do you know them? Yes. Did you tell them they need to repent and be born again? Did you tell them this about Jesus? No, then you're not a true Christian because you don't love them enough. If you love people... If you love people... If you love people, you tell them that they're going to hell. You call them to repentance. You don't love them enough. You're a cultural Christian. You don't know Jesus. It's disrespectful. This is not live live with other people with our choice. This is this is the respect of other people. Yes. Because but you're going to hell. I have to tell you. If I love you, if I truly love you, which I do, I love you. I have to tell you that you're going straight to hell. You know, if you don't tell, care about people, I'll say, go and be a Muslim and cover yourself up. I don't care. <coughs> but because I love you, I tell you the truth. There is no salvation You're in not Islam. Her, no. You're talking bad to her. I'm rebuking her because she should tell you that you need to repent. You need to tell them they need you Jesus. Can people be saved without Jesus Christ? 
Can people go to heaven without Jesus? Yes or no? Est-ce que les gens peuvent aller euh, au paradis sans Jésus? I don't know. I, well, I, the I'm Bible is clear. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I, I, did you die? Did you come to, to, uh, to prove that? Yeah. I did. No, we have the Bible and we have hundreds of millions of people. We have the Bible. We have hundreds of millions of people who are born again. Jesus Christ is a historical event. The resurrection is a historical event. I, I, I believe my religion. That's not the Bible. It's truth subjective. It's just, it's just respect. Oh, that's I, I respect it's people. Just it's just normal. It's just normal. If you love people, you tell them the truth. Let me ask you, is, uh, is everything, is Allah says that nothing happens except for the will of Allah. So you also have to blame Allah for what's going on in Palestine. You have to blame Allah. Allah is normal. Allah, Allah. Those are young people. Show them some respect. I am showing them respect. If you respect people, you tell them the truth. We respect Jesus. Respect your religion. If you if you love Jesus, then you will bow down to him and ask him to forgive for your sins. Otherwise, you believe in another Jesus. Jesus says that you will be hated by all men. You don't respect the life of people. You know what? You know what? I respect your choice. I have shared your gospel. I've shared the gospel with you. I'm going to leave you to it because you're rejecting it. I can offer you a gospel book to read. Jesus is gentle. Be gentle with people. Not aggressive. I your God. I, I understand. I understand gentle, what you're saying. But when I'm talking to ten people, it's difficult to be. I, you're right. I, I, I take it on board. I'm going to leave you to it. But I will say, Jesus loves you, and there is no salvation in Islam. And in regards to Palestine, you have to blame Allah. Allah is in charge. You're nasty. That's okay. Jesus loves you because you are nasty. But that's okay. Jesus. There is no salvation in Islam. The bunch of Jews, they killed the God. I cannot accept this one. Jesus came to die no, for people's the bunch, sins. The bunch of Jews, they killed yeah, Jesus. but Jesus says, no one takes up my life. I gave up willingly. Okay? Really? Yes. Yeah. But he cried in the cross for six hours. Okay, do you want to speak to him? But he cried for six hours. He didn't cry for six hours. Who told you that? Who told you he was crying?